All right, so it's uh, January 31st, uh, 2009, uh, about 11 noon time. This is the Sola House, Pastor Sola Home, uh, that we built at 101 Tispequin Street, Millborough, Mass. Uh, these are our special windows you can see here. These windows and these windows here are uh, thermal mass windows. They actually have water in the blocks in those windows. Each one of those, what look like individual window panes, is a block filled with water that stores the sun's energy. And today, um, not real cold outside. It's uh, almost up to freezing right now. Uh, it's about 31, 32 degrees out. And uh, it was about 21 last night, not too cold. Um, but the house is warming up today. Those windows started this morning uh, at 60 degrees, the water in those. And I'm going to go inside and show you what they've warmed up to now. Uh, with about f uh, three, three hours of good sunlight, um, they've warmed up. Uh, well, I'll show you. I'll go, and go inside. Right, so here's the inside of the house. Here's some of our windows over there. In one room you come across, you can see we're in the middle of construction. But here are uh, the other, two of the other windows, the two ones in the main room. And then you have these, uh, these three in here in the or another section of the house. Uh, these are water filled blocks, these are the ones I'm talking about. And you can see um, what you're looking through is four panes of glass and four inches of water. Um, right now the water... Okay, so this is the, uh, the, the water filled window blocks. Each one of these is a block. Um, you can see each of these windows. And uh, they started this morning and the water temperature in those windows was 60 degrees. And with uh, a little over three hours of good sun, uh, we've warmed up to 80.2 degrees um, here over just a few hours. So they'll continue to warm up over the course of the day. The house is warmed up itself. I'll show you the, the, the long room. It's right over here. You can see we're starting to install the kitchen cabinets. Um, uh, so the indoor temperature right now is 51.6 uh, degrees. Outside is 31.5. Um, I reset the minimum temperature yesterday. We had a maximum temperature. Uh, yesterday went up to 41.5. The house came up to 54.3. And then we look at our, uh, our low time temperature last night went down to 21.6 and the house went down to 49.6. So from 49.6 to 51.6 today the house itself has warmed up 2 degrees uh, even though the temperature hasn't come up above freezing yet today. Uh, so this house is not only these thermal mass windows but a whole series of construction elements. Uh, structural insulated panels, uh, heat recovery ventilation system, uh, the floor you see right here is a uh, uh, monolithic slab foundation system completely insulated. Uh, we have reading uh, PEX tubing uh, run all through this floor which hasn't been heated yet. Our, our heating source is going to be provided by a, a geothermal heat pump. Uh, we buried 1800 feet of pipe in the ground out front here, uh, 8 feet below grade. Uh, we have a whole series of pipes uh, buried in the ground and then those are going to come in they're going to provide uh, heat to a geothermal heat pump which will uh, Put about 90 degree water through the, the floor right here and heat this uh, house from the bottom. But we haven't, that hasn't been installed. The heat pump just showed up yesterday. It still isn't hooked up and I'll show you that. Alright, so we're looking at our thermal mass windows again uh, in the house here and we're showing you what they're going to do over the course of one good sunny day. Uh, they started at 60 this morning, about noon time. They were up around uh, close to 80, right around 80 degrees. And now at uh, 2.30 in the afternoon, we've climbed up to a temperature of uh, 91.2 degrees. Uh, so they're, they're getting pretty warm, they're really nice to the feel, a lot of heat coming off of those things, uh, even though it's about uh, 31 degrees outside, and I'll show you that right here. The house is warming up a little bit, uh, the room temperature really doesn't take into effect the, uh, the radiant effect coming off of those windows, uh, so our outside temperature is 31.1 and uh, the house has come up 52.9 uh, uh, from uh, so it's come up a little over one degree in the last couple hours. that will continue to rise into the night. Um, as those windows continue to dump heat into the space. Uh, that's the warmest we've seen those windows in quite a while. Uh, we've had three good consecutive sunny days and they've climbed at least continuously. So we, three days ago they got up to 75, yesterday they got up to about uh, 83 and now we're up into the 91, 92 degree range. And we still got another good hour of sun before it uh, comes off. It's January uh, 31st, it's about 2.30 in the afternoon. Um, cold day, got a close to freezing today, uh, but these windows are warm up. I can feel the heat reading on my back right now. They started at 60 degrees, the water in these windows. You see in the videos, we're looking through four panes of glass, four inches of water, these windows right here behind me. And with a good sunny day, uh, we're looking at about 92.3 is the water temperature in that window right now. 
So um, these things have came up over 30 degrees over the course of the day, stored in the windows. That doesn't also, that doesn't, um, also show you how much energy has actually been contributed into this building. Uh, even though it's only 31 degrees outside, this building has continued to warm a couple of degrees over the course of the day and it will continue to do that well into the night. So it's not only maintaining the temperature in the house, it's also raising the temperature in the house. So uh, this water that's in this window will continue to raise the temperature in this house probably until at least 11 o'clock tonight. Um, we're experiencing uh, we're in the 52.7 degree range now. We started at 49.7 this morning. Uh, so we've come up about 3 degrees over the course of the day. And that will continue to rise and we'll probably get up in the 56 to 50, uh, 55, 56 degree range over the course of the, uh, by, by 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. So if I have a chance, I'll shoot back to the house here later on tonight and show you what this. Windows will continue to cool as, as the sun goes down. Uh, we have about another hour of sunlight here. Uh, we're getting a good six to six and a half hours of sunlight on these windows even here in the middle of winter. Like I said, January 31st. Um, so this house is maintaining. It's not going to take a lot of energy to heat this house from this point. So all of just passive solar energy at this point, um, being able to maintain this house. And the coldest we've seen over the course of the winter here was 41.9 degrees inside. That was only after we had three consecutive snowy cloudy days uh, with the high time temperatures in the teens to tw lower 20s and nighttime lows going down to uh, just above or below zero. We actually get down to minus 4.5 one day. Um, and the house never got below 41.9. Um, so as the sun came out, started warming the house back up again. Uh, with no other heat in here. There's no heat installed in the house yet. And uh, they just actually delivered the heat pump yesterday. It hasn't been hooked up yet. Once we get that uh, heat going, we get this concrete slab, the mass of the house up to temperature. Uh, these windows are going to even maintain this house uh, even better. So uh, keep checking back. I'll, uh, I'll keep doing performance tests on the house and uh, find out exactly how much energy we have to add to the to this passive home to uh, make it a very comfortable living space. So even though it's not 100% passive, uh, the uh, heating system for the house is a geothermal heat pump. We're using the grounds temperatures to help uh, warm this house. And we've done that through a series of uh, design elements as well as uh, insulation levels to do that very, very efficiently. Uh, once again, we're using geothermal, which is taking the constant ground temperature of 50 degrees. Uh, the heat pump manages to extract, extract heat out of that and then provide it to the house um, through a series of radiant, uh, radiant tubes that are buried in the concrete slab of the house, which we insulated below and above and around. Well, not above, but we insulated below and around. Um, so uh, the house is doing well with just the passive solar energy. Uh, nobody's living in here yet. Once people start to live in here, they're going to contribute something to the heat load of the house. Uh, it's still empty. It's still under construction. And uh, we'll be here for probably another month before we finish up the construction and get her ready to move in. Uh, so stay tuned.